Hi, this is Joey from VentFact. We're doing a series of videos covering the foundations of marketing technology. And today we'll be talking about tag management systems or TMSs. If you haven't checked out the previous video on digital analytics, I would strongly advise it as it rolls directly into this one. So we know that we need to be capturing data from different places. It could be the website, it could be the mobile app. We now have the challenge of how do we centralize the way that we do so. To go back to an example I used in a previous video, how do we define an application complete? Is it when someone clicks on the apply now button or is it when someone lands on the first page of the application form? This may seem like a minor quibble, but there are a number of people who will drop off between clicking that initial button and will never reach that next page. Because of this, it's important for the business to define what that means, but it's also important that all the technologies used by the business treat the definition of application start in the same way. One part of what tag management does is to centralize the view of the different pieces of data and the different events, things like application start, application complete, or just someone landing on a page, that that's all defined in one place. From there, once we have all those data and events defined, we can then configure within the tag management platform what data needs to be sent to Google, what data needs to be sent to Adobe, which technologies need to know that an application start happened. The other side of tag management and the other challenge it's trying to address is the code management challenge. Now, the way it was done in the past was every time there's a request to put a new piece of kit onto the site, say we've just signed on with Google as a vendor and we need to implement their analytics product, that code would be hard coded directly into the template by the backend developer. And what this means is over time, we're building up the technical debt of, hey, this thing was implemented five years ago. We're not sure who requested it. We're scared to turn it off. We're not sure what will happen if it breaks. And it's also very hard to update over time as a page changes or new pieces of data are required to be captured in that platform. What we see instead with tag management is rather than having all those things on the template, we replace it with one little snippet that we give to the backend developer and everything else is funneled in through it. Part of the other advantage here is now the management problem sits in the right place, sits with the owner of the tag management capability rather than being on the heads of the developers who don't really have exposure to what the technology is doing or necessarily an understanding of what needs to be there. If you're a business with a digital presence, it's critical to have a tag management system as part of your core capability. It's available free from Google uh, with their Google tag management platform. Adobe have their platform launch if you're a user of the rest of their ecosystem. There are also enterprise level tag managers such as Telium available for use. If you'd like to know more about tag management systems, check out our MarTech Toolkit for Digital Professionals course. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to check out similar videos.